But we get a unique view from weather warrior Tony Wabach coming up, who's seen multiple eclipses in his career. He compares what he's come across a little later. Well, our weather warrior Tony Lombok had an unparalleled view of the sun today. News 3 meteorologist not only chases storms, he's got previous experience chasing eclipses too. Tonight he shows us the sights and sounds he captured as the skies went dark today. A total solar eclipse. This will be one of the coolest events that I ever see in my lifetime and one of the few events where I'm actually hoping for clear skies. Now the total solar eclipse is one of the first in my lifetime, but in terms of eclipses themselves, well, this ain't my first rodeo. I have been fortunate to see a couple of eclipses in my lifetime, both of them called annular eclipses, meaning that light from the sun remains visible as a bright ring around the moon as opposed to a total eclipse which the whole sun is being blocked. My first annular eclipse was on May 10th, 1994, when I was in middle school back in Circleville, Ohio. My school yearbook shows my class, and me, using paper to view the shadow on the ground. And of course, I'm guessing everybody wants to see what the 7th grade weather warrior looks like. Oh, would you look at that? Pity. Moving on. Yeah, I'm gonna stand up. I got it. No, I'm good. I'm good. Don't worry about it. It's too rainy. 18 years and nine days later, my good friend and storm chase partner Ed Grubb and I successfully chased tornadoes in Kansas, then made the all-night 577-mile drive to Albuquerque, New Mexico, where we hiked up a mountain and set up shop to document the 2012 annular eclipse as it crossed over the southwest part of the United States. The third time is the charm for me, as this will be my first total eclipse, and this only required a few miles of driving to get to. Now this has certainly been an amazing event for me to witness and oddly enough for a storm chaser who's used to going out on the road and chasing after everything far, far away, I might get the honor to get to do this again right here in this exact spot in seven years. Reporting from Johnson County, I'm meteorologist Tony Laubach, the Weather Warrior. And our Weather Warrior, Tony Laubach, chased the eclipse in Johnson County. Take a look at these great views of the eclipse he captured there. Tony described them as pristine.